Okay, so today we will be doing the, we will be starting from the last, uh, the previous class and what we did was then, I think just adding image, then adding links, adding navigation bar and other stuff. So today we'll be like starting from the beginning again. So it's just to refresh your memory on what we did the previous class. So right now, this is what we're going to do. I will still create a folder from beginning for you to see. So now you can add new file by clicking this new file. It will give you this. So you can just say index.html, right? So now if I click on enter to bring me to a folder where I will be able to create folder to do this, or you can go straight to your to your desktop to create a folder, then you save the folder from here. Like this is one, or this is the second one I'm talking about. Like this is my desktop or any place that you want to create a folder, you can easily do that. Like I right click to open new, click on new, then click folder, right? So this now I can just say our HTML or HTML, and CSS, right? By HTML and CSS class. class. Okay, so this is our HTML and CSS class. So now, if I go to my VS Studio code, right? I can easily open it. I come to file, then you move to open folder. You move to open folder. Then click on open folder. Now, this is my desktop. So Okay, this is my desktop. I click on desktop. Wherever you save yours, you can just locate that file and you get it there. So this is the new file that I created. This is new folder, right? So I click on the folder, then it will open up. Boom. This is it. Yes, I trust this. So this is it now. So now look at this. Look at the folder. This is the folder here. Yeah. So I can now click on this side. This side of the folder. This is the folder. This is where you can either click this to add new file or so or you can right click to add new file. It's still the same thing. So now this is my new file. I will call this index does HTML. So I will call this index dot HTML. Index dot HTML. Right? So we have this folder now. Now another one I will create again. I will create this and I will call this style.css then i press enter to save this as well right so now we we'll come back to the index.html then i will start my html tags so by pressing shift key and this and press enter this is it we have it so now i will just call the title i can say complete complete website complete website so don't forget to use your control s to save anytime you do this then you come to this up and i want to link the css to it so what i will do is this link so this is you just type it out if you are not getting the shortcut set up in your environment or sometimes some of the system doesn't make it work properly like that so it depends on the system you are using so now that's why you need to set it manually or you write manually so i don't want this video to be too long so now link this so here is a ref so from this ref here we can just call this index no we can call this style dot css style.css so this style.css look at the style.css that we have here now i link this html to the css so whatever thing that the styling we are going to do on css we now work with the html that we built already so now this is the html so you come to every other thing that you want your um, your users to see to be written on the body so now we move down. This is my body. I'm just expanding this so that it doesn't have anything to do. 
Okay, so we have the title, we have this. Now I want to do editing. So just follow me as I do this now. So we are creating a page now. We are creating a website now. So just follow me as I'm doing this. So this is the header. Just follow the way it's going. That I will be explaining. So now I want to do a navigation bar. So a navigation bar, this is the navigation bar we have here. This navigation bar. I want to create the navigation. So this header that I created, this is the header from this place. This is the header. Why right? this is the navigation bar here. So now I want to create the nav bar. So I can just call it nav. Right. And just call it nav. Then ID. Yes, let's make it ID. Then the ID I can call just call it nav bar. Nav bar. You can just leave it as just normal bar, bar but I'm just using that to make it. So nav bar. Boom. Okay. So now, now that we have the nav bar, under the nav bar again, we are going to create this our first H1. Then call it class. So in this class, what we're going to have is logo, which is this is the logo here. This logo. Uh -huh. So logo. So we have the logo there. And now I move to this. Hey, Rev, I want to link the logo now. So I will just call this index.html so that the logo can be clickable. So that the logo can be clickable. So now that I have index.html on the logo path, I can now call the logo name Kens. Kens, okay. So we want to design this because this has two colors. So now we have can this. Okay, so the second color, in order to make the separate the second color, this is what we are going to do. On this, I will call this spam. We we'll use our spam feature, spam feature on this. So spam, then we can give the spam a color a class. Let's give the spam a class, and the class name should be text. So primary, let's call the text primary, so that we know we're targeting the, the span itself. Then you close the span, and this span size, this is where we are going to call, okay, I will call this coder. So this will be the next color. So call this coder, and we are good to go. So now, in order for you to see that you've done a great job, now look at the the nav bar. If you click on the nav bar, you see that the nav bar is closed because in HTML, every tag that you open, you must close every tag, right? Every tag you open, you must close it. That was the law. So now you click on this to see. You click on the nav bar, you see that it's closed here. Now, what other things we are going to close here is the H1. So if you click on the H1, you see that the H1 is closed somewhere here as well. Okay. It's close, it's close to. Let, let's find out. Yes, it's closed as well. Got it. This is the H1. It's closed well. Then now this tag, this is your ref tag, which is the A tag C. It's pointing to this as well. Now, what else are we closing? We are closing the span as well. Look at this. So we're done with this section. This section is now full for us. It's working perfectly. Okay. So this is the header section. And you can see that this is the header. We have the header. Uh -huh. So this first header you are seeing here, this one is for the for the HTML tags line, while this is for the nav bar here. Right, this is for the number this this particular one we are seeing here 
So now, the next we are going to do is to create this section. Create this section here. So now we will do that by. Okay, before this section, this um these buttons, this nav navigations, we need to add these ones. So we use our we use our UL, we use our UL key and LI tag rather. Okay, so please hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, so we use our UL and uh, UI. So what, what, what do you understand by the U, the U head, it's the the way you arrange it, the way you order. So the U head element represents on other list of items, on other list of items. Yes, that is what it represents on other list of items. So whenever you are seeing anywhere U head, it means that that was the on other list of items. While the second one we have is L I. And the li also represents the list of items. So when you are using li, you are listing items, while the ul is on other list of items. So the you can put like what we are going to do here is bring the ul first, which is the on other list, then put the list under the on other list. That is what we are going to do. So now let's say let's use our bracket then ul. UL, right? This is our UL. Then close the UL. Then see what I did. Okay. So right now, you we'll go back and you use your LI. Okay. This is your LI. Then rev. See? So the LI, then you create a link to the LI. And after the link, you can call this. Home. After the link, you call this home. Then you close the link again. And you have to close the li too. So you close the li as well. So now we have a perfect work here. So same thing. I can just copy this. You can write this yourself, but I'm just copy this and paste this straight because I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want this class to take much of our time because we have a lot of CSS to write as well. So now this home, then second one is about, can I just write about us page? Yeah, about us. Then the third one, we write our services, our services, which are the services we are offering on this website. Then the third one can be contact contact us page. So we have our pages set now. So one more thing, now that we have our pages set here. Yes, we have our pages set here now. So everything here, we need to move this elder and this, this Nava down here because these ones are still in the same line to get. So we need to move them down. So this is the now bar and the header. Now we have to cut this and bring it down here. So now we have we've done this part. We've done this part now. So you can just view it by going to our live server and open it on live server to see what we've done. Okay. And you see this. Interesting. This is what we have here. So now what we need to do is to use CSS to, to style this. But before we use CSS to style this, before we get to that part, this this um this this section, we have to do this section now. Yeah. So we have to do this section. So we know that we've done with the HTML and then we go straight to the CSS direct. Is that fine? Okay, 
So now this is called the hero section, this place. This is the first attraction of the website that when you see that we capture the people's attention to either stay the website or to go back. And this will also give them a basic information of what you're doing in the website, like the services that you are offering to them. You stay company, this will explain much better about what the company do and all of that. So this place is very important. Now, we call this Euro section. So we are going to use a form called div. Div is a language that's used in HTML as well to create containers to do other things. So now this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Now we say, okay, we call this, okay, this class ID, then now let's use div for this. So I will say div, call it class, class. So the class now we call the class hero, right? Call the class just hero. Okay. Then now we'll create another div again. And I'll call this another class. Okay, so inside this class, I'll call it hero container, hero container, right? Hero container, okay. Then we have the hero container again. Now what we need to do is to use each one, each one, and I can call this each one now. Welcome to our first welcome to our first website hmm? welcome to our first website so now we want to use paragraph for this so what you do is p means paragraph when you are writing on p it's called paragraph so this paragraph we want to bring it down we want to space it so now we can now decide to say our services. Okay, we can make it a lower case. Our services include, right? Our services. Okay, we use our product here. Our product includes then our product includes. Okay. So now we we'll say UI UX UI UX design. UI UX design. Comma. Then product product design. Website development, website development. Technology. Technology. Internet of a thing. Call IoT. Internet of a thing. Cloud computing. Whatever thing you think you are offering, cyber security. So let's leave it this way. You see? Okay. Cyber security. Okay. So now. Save this, then since you're working on this, okay. This is what we're trying to get. So now, okay. So we have paragraph close here, number and div close like that. Okay. Then after the If we have the hero, 
and we have the container here. Then it will welcome to our website, then the paragraph, then we have the first div closed. It is then we have the second div closed. So now the next we are going to do is this footer area. So next we are going to do is footer area. So this just just use this footer right. So just do this and and see build by write your name. You can write your name. Okay. So now we are done with the HTML. We are done with the HTML now. So what we need to focus on is the CSS. So we're going to work on the CSS now. So now if you come to this, all this, okay. So look at what we have now. So this is it. So this is the the header section, which is the navigation bar, then the welcome to our first website, which is the euro section and the the footer section. So we have the three sections here. So this is the part of the HTML now. So in the second video, we are going to write the CSS code to style this website and see how beautiful it will come out with.